show in two weather, Kamaka Pili. You may want to find your Netflix series that you're going to binge on for the next couple of days because it's the perfect weather to do so. Here on Oahu, we're going to continue to see some deterioration in our weather, which is only going to transfer to more instability. Here in Honolulu, those scattered showers is expected. Those thunderstorms, though, we're actually seeing that in terms of a, a scattered rate, 30 up to 50 percent chances of those thunder uh, thunderstorms pretty much for most of the island chain, with the exception of Kauai and even uh, some of the exception for Lanai as well. But for tomorrow, our threats, again, are all elevated with pretty much everything. In terms of the ocean conditions, which is the least, we have that small craft advisory towards the west. But flood advisory remains in effect for Molokai flood advisory. Uh, the flood, excuse me, flash flood warning for Molokai flood advisory for the island of Maui. Flood watch from Oahu down to Hawaii Island. The summits of Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa under that winter storm warning. And again, that small craft advisory towards the west. In terms of our surf, we actually are having some increased wave heights, 10 to 14 up north, 7 to 10 for the west, 4 to 6 for the east, and 1 to 3 remains down on the south. Now, first, in terms of the hazy conditions and the fog, unfortunately, we are seeing some return in that all has to do with the winds. As we get through this weekend, which right now we don't have much because of the northeasterly winds, that's going to be shifting down towards the north southeasterly as we start the new week, and that's going to start to increase and build back that haze from Hawaii Island and slowly start to starting to encroach upon towards the west. In terms of our ua, this is this disturbance, really over over Maui County, uh, the islands of Maui County, and as we fast forward in through tomorrow, that will slowly start to make its way over towards Oahu at a very slow rate. So we're going to continue to see some heavy showers impacting already all the islands that have been seeing a lot of showers. And despite the fact that that will be making its way closer towards Kauai, a lot of moisture and instability, as you can see, really lingers pretty much all around the islands. Widespread showers taking us from the weekend into the new week, in particular Monday. And then from that point, we're slowly starting to see some improvements as we get to Tuesday into the middle of the week, but we have to get through this bulk first. So for tomorrow, most of the disturbance remains from Oahu down to Hawaii Island. We are going to still see a rainy day, uh, another rainy day for Kauai, both windward and leeward sides, but the threat of uh, isolated or scattered thunderstorms doesn't really kick in until tomorrow evening, and that will take us into Monday. So what we're going to continue to see, again, I anticipate these warnings and these advisories to be extended more and more, as we have already been seeing from yesterday, because of the, uh, the, the, the amount of moisture and instability that, that will remain. In terms of our winds, that windy condition up to 30 miles per hour really is for the west end behind that cold front boundary. In front of it, we have more lighter and variable conditions that will be taking us through the week. Unfortunately, we can expect that haze and that fog to build back once again. Sam, back to you.